To the founder of Wagby, Stanley Duncan, these marshes on the north bank of the Humber were a paradise. What was Wagby? The Wildfowlers Association of Great Britain and Ireland, forerunner of the shooting organisation Basque, which has 130,000 members. We come here to meet Ken Arkley, who has been wildfowling here for decades. Well, Ken, it's a, a brilliant weather for ducks and an incredibly bleak landscape. What on earth are we doing? We're here alongside Winestead Drain, which leads into Paddington Channel, into the Humber, um, and later on, hopefully, I'm going to take you down onto the marsh. And with a bit of luck and a break in the weather, perhaps, <laughs> we might see a few ducks. Predominantly at the moment, there's a, there's a little bit of activity with teal and widgeon on the river. Now this is the north bank of the Humber and it's really one of the great duck centres of, of Britain, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't say it was one of the great duck centres of Britain, but like everywhere else, we, we like to think that what we do on the river here are a little bit for conservation, etc. We're trying to improve the situation, we're trying to improve habitats, we're looking to manage the, the, the shooting better to hopefully improve duck numbers. Um, the area is seeing a lot of changes over recent years with duck movements and geese. This eastern end of the river is, is starting to see um, more goose numbers at certain times of the year. And it's a continually changing situation. And we like to think that we're doing our bit to, uh, to help that along. That's the Hull and East Riding Wildfowlers Association and, and also there's, there's another one here on the yeah, North Bank, isn't the, there? The other North Bank club is Holdness and Humber Wildfowlers Association and we work in conjunction with, with them. We share most of our shooting on the, on the Humber. Our leased areas are all shared with the other club. We work very closely together uh, and as I say, with the joint aims of trying to improve everything to make sure that the sport carries on for future years. I'm going to set out a, a pattern of decoys and we'll get ourselves secreted in the in the cover and hopefully wait for a few packs of teal that are uh, moving up and down the river at the moment and perhaps even the odd widgeon or, or even a bonus mallard. Uh, at the moment the mallard have been a few and far between but um, again you never know. You never know with you wild fighting. It's, it's, it this is one the of whole the... part of it. Um, you never know from one day to the next what's going to happen. You like to think that you know or learn all the movements of the birds etc but you never get two days the same and that's the beauty of wild farming. Get back! Good girl! Good girl! Put it on! Put it on! Good girl! Good girl! Put it in! Yeah, such a deer, such a deer. It is, it's an addictive sport, isn't it? I mean, people who are wildfowlers are, are lonely characters, um, tall and rangy. Yeah. Like you, yes, <laughs> yes I, think, I think uh, that is a big part of it. It's, it's nice to be out there. We don't, a, a true wildfowler doesn't have to shoot something every time he goes out. They get as much enjoyment as just being on the marsh, being out in the open. Some people would call us crazy being out in weather like this, but that's the way we get our enjoyment.